guys. Ooh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Not too long ago, I uploaded part one to this video, and this video is about questions to ask yourself when decluttering. I wanted to keep the first video short because I really wanted you to focus in on those questions and really kind of internalize them and use them most efficiently, but I am back with the second list of five more tips if you did like that video, you will love this one because we are just continuing on with questions you can constantly ask yourself as you are going through the decluttering process. Questions that when I was first starting out in my journey, I found myself asking a lot. So I figured it could be helpful to you. Now, if you are not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. It will notify you of new videos in your newsfeed or you can hit the little bell and that will send you an actual news alert of new videos. I also have a website which I will link down below in the description box. My website constantly features exclusive, exclusive content that you will not see here. So be sure to check that out, hit the newsletter, put your email in and get notified of new posts there as well. That whole time I was speaking, this little hair was sticking into my face, but it's okay. We're carrying on. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump right into the second part of questions to ask yourself while decluttering. Now I have mentioned in the past that I always, always, always recommend tackling sentimental items at last. Those are gonna be the hardest items for you to get rid of for obvious reasons, but there are some sentimental items that you're gonna realize fairly quickly that you are holding on to just because of the memory associated, but it doesn't actually provide any value to your life today. This is gonna sound really silly to some people and to some others not, but for example, while I was doing my process in the beginning of getting rid of stuff, I was holding on to a particular hoodie because me and my husband had the same hoodie. It was something we got when we first started dating, and I had a lot of memory tied to that hoodie. And then I realized that I never wore it. It was too snug fitting. I didn't like the color. It wasn't flattering to my body. So I got rid of it. I still have that memory, but I no longer have that item. In the beginning, you're gonna feel a lot of guilt to keep items that were gifted to you for many different reasons, because of sentimental value or because somebody spent the money on you or because they come over to your house regularly and you don't want to address you know, the awkward conversation of where that item is, but you will find that if you're holding onto items just because people give it to you, for some people, you may have an entire house full of items from others. There is a difference in just for when and just for case. So for example, just for when might be when you have a Christmas party every year, you have that one item that you only use one time a year, but it is providing value in your life because you are finding it to be useful. But that just in case item, you don't know if you're ever gonna use that. And just to make you feel a little better about it, most just in case items are never actually used. And most of these items you can just pick up for less than 20 bucks anyways, if you do need it. These might be things that you don't even think about on a day-to-day -day basis, but they are taking up a ton of your time. Think about it. Do you have a TV stand surrounding your TV, an entertainment center? Now is that entertainment center full of knickknacks that every week you have to go and dust and wipe down the cabinets and wipe down the, the shelves. These are items that you might not actually get value from. If you spend more time dusting them and moving them around and caring for them than you do actually enjoying them, it might be time to let them go. I feel like in the age of the internet, this is a very common one. We see so many people that share their highlight reel and they're being paid to promote trends. And then we feel like we need that item because it's on trend and everyone has it, so we must love it. If you are holding onto items that you think you should love, you might need to evaluate other areas of your life. Maybe something that has to do with shopping or the way you are persuaded by media. Maybe you need to change the way you use social media or unfollow people. 
whatever you need to do, but you just need to be aware that trends come in and out. And just because everybody else is doing it doesn't mean they're going to be doing it tomorrow. And then you're going to feel like you wasted your time and your money and your energy on this one item. So that is it for part two of questions to help you declutter. Remember, as I mentioned in the first video, this is not a one and done process. These are questions that you will be asking yourself constantly. You will never stop asking yourself questions, but it will be second nature. It will come naturally to you. I hope you like this video. If you do like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified of new videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.